Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, we're gonna remove this pesky uh, upper shock bolt. Now I have been uh, giving it a little bit of PV blastering, but it's still gonna be super stubborn. Get this breaker bar on here, 15 millimeter, you can see all it does is rotate this. So we have to get a hold of this, which is really the key here. Now, there is a hole here. You can come in uh, from the uh, top side. You just have to remove the factory air box, um, but I'm okay just using this little breaker bar and a 15 millimeter socket. So what I do, which may or may not be what people consider right or normal, I take this old beat up flathead screwdriver and a hammer, and I'm just gonna split this and work it off. That's gonna reveal that post underneath. And it takes just a few seconds to get this off, but in my opinion, makes it well worth it. I mean, obviously we're not reusing this shock. There we go. Now there's a lot of preferences people seem to have on how to get to these shock bolts. This is just the way I decided to do it. It doesn't require any special tools or techniques. is relatively fast all right so that's that out of there and then basically that gives me access to that post which then uh, I can get a vice grip on so now when I get this breaker bar on here, that vice grip should hold that post. And there we go. That bolt is turning. All right, so that's broke free. The other thing I really like to do is take a minute and clean those threads. Because basically when you're unthreading it, you're threading it up into all that crud. So it'll get all galled up easily i'm almost out of pv blaster that is a sin get those off there and then in fact once i get that broken free a wrench can be used to loosen this so i feel it getting really tight and that's just crud building up so I'm gonna back off of it again. Give it another little clean. So there we go, I can release this and our top shock mount is free. So that's it, simple tip. Uh, I know a lot of guys like to just cut these off or uh, torch them off or whatever. This is a method which I found works pretty easy and like I said, doesn't require a lot of special tools or technique. The hardest part actually is just cutting off that uh, rubber bushing to get the vice grips on there. Get the vice grips on nice and tight. Keep these threads as clean as possible and that will help you a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.